RotaxOwner.com. Welcome to RotaxOwner.com's expanded instruction video covering Alert Service Bulletin ASB 912059914042. This Alert Service Bulletin covers checking of the crankshaft journal for cracks on Rotax 912 and 914 series aircraft engines. Due to a deviation in the manufacturing process on specific and limited engine serial number ranges, cracks can form on the power takeoff journal of the crankshaft. To check if your engine is affected by this alert service bulletin, refer to section 1.1 of the bulletin for a list of engine serial numbers affected. Serial numbers for certified and non-certified engines are listed separately. Be sure to check the corresponding bulletin for your engine type. Serial numbers for certified engines are listed in Alert Service Bulletin ASB 912059-914042. Serial numbers for non-certified engines are listed in Alert Service Bulletin ASB 912059UL, 914042UL. The term UL refers to non-certified engines. Also listed in section 1.1 of the bulletins are individual crankshaft serial numbers. These crankshaft serial numbers should be checked on engines that have been recently overhauled or have had a replacement crankshaft installed. If your engine or crankshaft serial number is not listed in section 1.1, then your engine is not affected by this alert service bulletin. If your engine or crankshaft serial number is listed in section 1.1, inspection as per section 3 of the bulletin must be conducted before next flight, but no later than January 1, 2012. Crankshaft inspection should be carried out by a qualified technician approved by your local authorities for NDT testing. If a ferry flight is required to take the aircraft to an approved NDT testing facility for inspection, a magnetic plug check must be conducted before next flight. Instructions for magnetic plug inspection can be found in the Rotax Line Maintenance Manual, Chapter 12, Section 12. Additional information and specific directions can be found in Rotax Owner's expanded video covering magnetic plug removal and inspection. A list of these additional videos can be found on the Rotax Owner website. If the magnetic plug inspection shows no abnormal accumulation, a ferry flight is allowed for a maximum of four hours. All work must be performed in accordance with the relevant Rotax maintenance manuals. Lock the crankshaft, remove the gearbox, and drive gear. Instructions for gearbox and drive gear removal can be found in the Rotax 912-914 Heavy Maintenance Manual, Chapter 72, Section 3.9. Additional information and specific directions can be found in Rotax Owner's expanded video covering gearbox and drive gear removal and reinstallation. A list of these additional videos can be found on the Rotax Owner website. With the gearbox and drive gear removed, unlock the crankshaft. Degrease and clean the crankshaft journal. Crankshaft crack inspection can be performed by a non-destructive testing or NDT facility using fluorescent or dye penetrant testing. Check your local laws for appropriate NDT tests in your region. There are several products available to perform your own fluorescent or dye penetrant testing, but in all cases such tasks should only be performed by a qualified technician. A list of product manufacturer instructions on the use of off-the-shelf penetrant testing products can be found on the Rotax Owner website. The fluorescent or dye penetrant testing can be performed with the engine installed on the aircraft. 
protect the crank case against contamination by penetrant testing materials. Thoroughly inspect the area of the crankshaft journal between the drive gear splines and the threads. Rotate the crankshaft and inspect the entire circumference of the journal. A crack will show as a band of colored or fluorescent dye. If a crack is found, contact your nearest Rotax distributor, service center, or repair center. The engine must not be run until the crankshaft has been replaced. If no crack is detected, reassemble and test run the engine. This NDT test is not reoccurring. Any engines or crankshafts which pass the inspection are deemed unaffected and therefore can continue service with no further action. Instructions for gearbox and drive gear installation can be found in the Rotax 912-914 Heavy Maintenance Manual, Chapter 72, Section 3.9. Additional information and specific directions can be found in Rotax Owner's Expanded Video covering gearbox and drive gear removal and reinstallation. Thoroughly clean all penetrant testing residue from the crankshaft journal. Lock the crankshaft. Install the drive gear with a new friction washer and torque the nut to 147 foot-pounds or 200 newton meters. Clean the sealing surface of the gearbox housing and crank case. Install the gearbox. Perform an engine test run and check for oil leaks. Place an entry in the aircraft or engine logbook stating that the alert service bulletin has been complied with. Stay tuned to rotaxowner.com for more product reviews, expanded instruction videos, and e-learning video modules.